Anthropology is the study of humanity, broadly speaking. So whether it's medical anthropologists studying the way people understand health and well-being, social anthropologists looking at societies across the world, or biological anthropologists piecing together the human story through physical remains, we're all basically just interested in people. But most of the research we do goes into academic books or journal articles, which aren't easily accessible to the wider public. Given our research is actually all about people, we wanted to find a way to start communicating our research to them in a way that could be interesting and engaging. So earlier this year, we put out an open call for illustrations of anthropological research, and we were completely overwhelmed by the quantity and quality of the response from anthropologists everywhere. Alongside Dr. Benjamin Dix, who is founder of Positive Negatives, an organisation that produces illustrated work about humanitarian issues, we looked through many hundreds of pieces of artwork and selected about 60 anthropologists to feature in an online exhibition. The online Illustrating Anthropology exhibition explores human lives around the world through comics, drawings and paintings of anthropological research. From those who illustrate as a research method to others who partner with artists and research participants to tell stories, this exhibition draws together a wide range of ways that contemporary anthropologists are illustrating anthropology. Drawing has long been part of anthropological research and communication in the form of maps, field note sketches and kinship diagrams. Anthropology also has a long-standing relationship with photography and documentary film. And in fact, the Royal Anthropological Institute houses substantial archives and collections of both of these types of media. But now anthropologists are increasingly recognising the phenomenal storytelling power of illustration as a way to return their research to the communities they work with and to share their findings far and wide. Illustration can be a powerful way to contribute towards the public imagination of anthropology and also to work with the public in the production of knowledge, including through participatory methods, meaning that the subjects of the research also get to co-create the representation of themselves and their communities in the research. Illustration also has the power to provide us with a way into talking about difficult or sensitive topics. Anthropologists who look at violence, conflict, migration, bereavement, or mental health, for example, are finding that illustration can be an important way of giving people a means of expressing their own voice. Head to illustratinganthropology.com or check out our Instagram page to see the online exhibition. We really hope you enjoy exploring anthropology through illustration with us.